From a distance, a fireworks show is a captivating experience for the audience, even if sometimes they do feel all too brief. For the people responsible for lighting and then standing directly under those exploding projectiles, it's the culmination of days or weeks of planning and hours of setup. Each projectile, which are called shells, are unboxed and meticulously sorted before being lowered into their respective tubes. Luke Horine of Zambelli Fireworks, who will be responsible for the show in Baker Park on the 4th of July this year, has been around fireworks his entire life. Well, my grandfather did it, my dad did it, so, you know, it's kind of like a family thing. On Friday, Horine and his assistant, Lee Hanvey, prepared to entertain carnival goers in Walkersville with a 25-minute show that they spent hours preparing for. The noise from fireworks can be too loud even for some spectators hundreds of feet away. But up close, Horine likens the noise at that close range to that of having a rifle fired next to your ear. Yeah, it's, it's, um, well, it's something you get used to for a long time. I mean, I remember the first time I actually started, you know, lighting fireworks, and it is a, you know, very intense thing on, on the, your first time. I mean, because it is quite loud and it does get, you know, a little intimidating. So it takes a little time to get used to. After about five hours of preparations, Horine and Hanvey light their respective flares, launch a batch of automated fireworks, and then trade turns lighting each fuse one by one. Still burning embers rain down on the pair as they pace back and forth, methodically setting off the hundreds of shells and then leaning away to shield from any errant explosions. Every few minutes, large chunks of the burning cardboard shells are sent whizzing past the men, who seem immune to such close calls. The violent spectacle of seeing the show from such close range isn't as apparent for those across the field under the lights of carnival rides. The finale, which has shells being fired at a pace far too quick to be safely lit by hand, is rather operated by a remote. 